everybody, my name's Amanda from scrimpingmummy.co.uk and today I'm going to show you a really easy little miniature treat bag and I'm going to show you it in six different ways. So first of all I'm going to show you how to make it and I'm going to show you one way of decorating it and then I'm going to show you another five. Um, they're already made and that's just going to be kind of like a bit of a show and tell. But it's going to demonstrate how one small really easy technique you can do six ways. Okay, so all you need is a sheet of 6x6 DSP, the one that I'm using just now is from the uh, Coffee Break Suite. Okay, so you want to score at 1 and 3 quarters, 2 and 3 quarters, 4 and a half and 5 and a half. Then turn and score at 1. How easy is that? Okay, we can remove this now. So where you've got the very, very thinnest score mark here, you need to cut away this small section because you do not need it. I learnt this technique on a team retreat and it's brilliant because it shows you how you can just use one little idea uh, but use it lots of different ways. And it's also a good way of using your beautiful DSP and it's a good way for me to show you that some of the beautiful DSP that we have. I love it. This is absolutely beautiful, this paper. Um, right, so we're going to cut up on each of the fold lines up to the first score line. This is so easy. Um, you know, I've made a set of... I've got five sat at the side of me waiting to show you and then this one and I've made them in no time at all. Okay, so on this small fold here we're going to use uh, tear tape or you could use wet glue or whatever your choice of adhesive is. I'm trying to keep the cost down so I'm using um, the most budget friendly adhesive which is tear tape. In my opinion, anyway. Okay, so so you can actually leave them folded flat like that if you want to make a load all at once. Store them in a basket, get them out, decorate them when you want them. So we've got our flaps here. The only thing you need to put adhesive on is one of the large ones. Okay, just one of them. And again, I'm using tear tape. Move that. And that is your bit and then you fold the small flaps in, the a big flap with the adhesive in and then the big flap without adhesive in and all of that will hold together. Okay, And that is the very bare basics of your little mini treat bag and then you can just go and you can change it up um, to suit yourself. So I'm going to continue with this, I'm just going to pinch the top like so. Okay. And I am going to put in mine, because I'm using the coffee cafe bundle, I'm going to put coffees and sugars in there. Uh, this could be a teacher gift, it could be any kind of a gift, okay. Let me just get them in nicely, like so. And then I'm going to use some ribbon. I'm going to use, am I using poor party now because you won't be able to see that. Change my mind, I'm going to use this skinny white one. Okay, so I want quite a bit of it. And I'm going to wrap it around my box, like so. Uh, tie it in a knot. Like that. Hold it quickly before it goes anywhere. Tighten the knot again. Get in. Tighten the knot again. If you do it in two knots, you see, then it stops that moving about while you do your bow. While you stress yourself out for ten minutes fiddling with your bow. Okay? <laughs> Which is what I'm about to do. But no, it's going to go well. It's going to go well. I'm determined. <laughs> right so I'm going to pull that tight and then I'm just going to 
make those loops a little bit smaller because I've gone a little bit on the large side there. Okay, and I'm going to leave that as it is and just trim those a bit more. Trim that a bit more. Trim that a bit more. Okay. So now I'm going to decorate it and I have pre-stamped uh, one of the stamps from the, what's it called, Coffee Break, Coffee Cafe. You can buy it in a bundle here with the dies and the stamps or you can buy the stamps separate and these are them. And I'm using this one and it says, says life happens and coffee helps, hence why I've put coffee inside my um, little my little treat bag so I'm just going to trim it down to the size that I want because I just randomly stamped it on a piece of scrap because the idea here is that these are budget friendly okay um, I'm just going to ink the edge of that I think just to make it stand out a little bit I'm going to use crumb cake I think blue and brown goes together nicely Give that a bit of an ink. Life happens and coffee helps, it certainly does. Don't know I get fruit day <laughs> without my coffee. Right, and what I've also done is I do have um I did a paper share, so I've got lots of six by six sizes of this. You can buy it in 12 by 12, but I, mine's in six by six. And I fussy cut out some of the elements from the one of the patent sheets. Am I even in shot? <laughs> Won't even looking and to create some elements for to decorate with so we're just going to layer this up now on some dimensionals I'm going to try and be really quick and then I can show you um, the other five that I have made because each one is slightly different uh, different colors different papers different ideas okay so I'm just going to put that at an angle like so and then I'm gonna have my fussy cut coffee pot we're concentrating on teacher gifts at the moment but you know these ideas you can use for anything you can adapt them for Christmas you can adapt them for birthdays just little gifts anything just just because gifts so there's my little my little doofa my little curvy pet and I'll have and I've just used a bit of DSP here and you know what lovely I'm going to put the white one behind it lovely decoration minimal stamping uh, just a bit of imagination put that one there and we'll have that one there because we need more than one coffee <laughs> And isn't that lovely? Let me just zoom in ever so slightly. No, in. Oh, goodness me. Honestly, one of these days I'll get it the right way. So that is the Coffee Cafe one. And I think that is so cute. Isn't that awesome? Super easy. Right, I'm going to show you the others that I've made now. So here's one. This is using the Petal Garden. And I've used the... Um, label me punch and I have curved it I got that idea off of Melissa who's one of my team members and she curved hers on something she was making and it looked awesome because you do like things to have a bit of, bit of dimension and a bit of something about them so that's really easy just a bit of ribbon and one of the library clips okay so that's another one and then I've used the colour theory papers here and I did a pink one and I did a blue one and um, because you know you might want to gift one to a boy and one to a girl or you might have a girl that likes blue and a boy that likes pink okay um, again I've used the label me pretty here and here and on this one I've made a closure out of the layered labels dies the sticker is from the colour theory memories and more pack just for a little bit of decoration, I've kept it quite simple in case it was for a boy or a male teacher or a man or a husband or a uncle. This one's a little decorative peg. I've added washi tape, stamping up washing tape and one of the little cute foil bows. And again, use the label me pretty. And for this one, the top of this is slightly different because I have used my uh, decorative scissors there to make a little a zigzag top bag. Okay. 
Let me just put them all in shot. We might have to zoom out again. Hey, oops, hold on a minute. Let's zoom out so we've got room for them all. I've loved making these. This one is from the um, paper that looks like wood. Whose name I've forgotten. Oh, no, I can't believe it. And the background little banner I've hand cut and I've used the hardwood stamp. And I've, again, this is from the label Me Pretty. Um, punch and stamp set bundle that I bought and I've just used some natural twine there again that's quite masculine I think really really simple um, really cute really effective okay and then my last one is another petal garden with some lovely pretty floral uh, I've used the same stamp set again and I have just tied some um, ribbon to the top so you have there one little design, the same measurements, the same scoring and the same cutting each time. But let's just get it in shot. <laughs> Let me zoom out. I'm not very good at this, am I? Uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, one design, the same scoring, the same measuring, but six different ways. How pretty. Go and give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, by the way, all the measurements are on my blog at scrimpingmummy.co.uk. Don't forget. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Bye for now.